Hey everybody, um, I'm redoing my room a little bit and I don't know if you guys noticed in the past few videos that I took my purse stand out. It used to be right here. It was so massive, right? It was so humongously big that I couldn't take it anymore. You couldn't even walk around in this room. I couldn't walk over here. I know I'm out of frame. I couldn't. I couldn't do none of that, okay? None of that. So, I took it down and now I could walk around my room and the room has a little bit more lighting coming in and stuff. Yeah. And uh yeah, and I was like this room had too much stuff in it. So, I had to get rid of a lot of things in this room because when I first put this room together, this room was like heaven to me. And then all of a sudden it just became like, I don't even want to be up in that room. That's why some of the videos you saw me doing um, were in my office. So they were, I was sitting at my computer on using the webcam doing the videos. And, but when I did the, a lot of the exercise videos, I did them like all over the house or whatever. And who knows, maybe I can do some exercise videos in this room now that the purse stand is gone. Uh, I don't know about that, but maybe. But so, yeah. And I plan to redo this stand This stand right here. I already started on it a little bit. So, because it's always showing in the videos. It's always in the background on the video. So, I, I did want to change this up a little bit more. So, you will be seeing my room transform even more, even if you didn't notice that the big humongous purse stand was gone. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video because uh, life is not that much fun if you got too much crap laying around your house. And it's really in the way, I guess I can sit down now. But, uh, yeah, I had too much stuff in the way. And hold on, I need to read. Yeah, I had too much, to right too, too, too much stuff going on in my room. So I like it much better now. I couldn't take it, y'all. I just could not take it. Is this mirror reflecting on my face? Yeah, it is. You know, <laughs> I uh, also revamped my vanity that I also have my iPad uh, sitting on taping this video. Yeah, you guys. I, I had so much stuff that it was just ridiculous. Half of the purses that were on the stand were not functional anymore. Yeah, and that's why I got myself this new um, black handbag. Because all of my um, black handbags that were on the um, purse stand, the handles were raggedy and everything so I was like why am I still keeping these handbags a lot of the purses had a lot of wear and tear uh except for all the colorful purses the colorful purses uh they're still okay because I barely carry those so now I'm just like making sure I don't buy any more colorful purses only black handbags so that's why I got this one okay and um I'm not gonna be just spending my money on unnecessary stuff and colorful shoes too all right okay now i did do a purge what you call it a purge well anyway a giveaway or whatever you want to call it of a lot of high heel shoes that i used to have in this room i had shoes on this this rank behind me originally did not have all this stuff on it it had a bunch of shoes on it. Now, the stand that's back there, it still has shoes on it. Those are the uh, high heel shoes that I kept. But guess what? I don't even wear those. I do not even wear those shoes back there at all. And then there's a smaller stand next to it. I don't know if you can see it. It's on the side, sort of. Now, that has a lot of uh, flat shoes on it. So, um, yeah. I think that when you become a shopaholic, you just buy stuff. You just keep buying and buying and buying and buying. And it goes for this makeup uh, stuff, too. So, I had to throw away a lot of old, old, old makeup. I don't believe in keeping makeup. Like, when I watch some of these YouTube videos and the people have the humongous makeup collection, and I was like, are you serious? 
I know half of that stuff you can't even use. It's probably so old that, you know, it'll probably just break apart as soon as you open it up. So, you know, I was like, I'm not going to be a uh, hoarder of uh, makeup and shoes and, or anything, anything for that, you know, matter. I just like being comfortable and relaxed. And I like to come in here and chill out and relax. Now, I did uh, mention to my husband that I wanted to get a, like a chase or something in and put it in here. But he's, you know, he, he, he gave me a very good tip on why would you do that? And you're going to be taking away the space that you just created for yourself. The space that I just created for myself will be taken away if I put such an item in here. Right? Right. Okay. So I'm not going to buy that. My little chair that I'm sitting in, maybe I'll up, update my chair that I sit in in here. And that's it. Make this chair a more comfortable chair. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video and make sure it's taping. Because sometimes, you know, you be thinking you taping stuff and you not taping it. So it look like it's taping. But yeah, <laughs> um, I just wanted to make some real videos for a change. You know, not sitting up here like, look at my hair. Look at this. Look at that. You know, I, or... or for the most part, I guess my videos do be kind of real anyway. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. And I got some more haul videos to do for you guys. And even though, like, like right now, I'm looking down on the floor. I got one, two, three more bags of goodies to do haul videos. But I just didn't want to do them with the same outfit on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I have done a few with the same outfits, the outfit on. And I didn't want to do them all with the same outfit on, you know, even though I got all the stuff. So I'm trying to uh, make sure I do the videos um, day after day, you know, well, whenever the next day comes or whenever I can do them, even though I have purchased this stuff and I do want to use some of this stuff. So I need to uh, do the videos like... Um, every day and just already make them but don't post them because I don't want to post the videos uh, back to back to back to back to back to back. I would like to set up a schedule you know what I'm saying like have a schedule like every Tuesday or every Wednesday I uh, post a video because I know that sometimes I post a gang of videos at one time and then sometimes a, a lot of them don't get that many views. And another thing about that like video, you know, like people skipping the ads and stuff like that. I know that it's, you don't only get paid from, from ads on YouTube. But it's like um, I've been on YouTube for maybe four, five years because I used to have another channel too. And it just seems like I got paid like maybe one time doing these videos. Now, um... You know, if you guys got any more tips on how to, you know, make money uh, doing these videos because my subscriber count goes up very, very slow. It's not very high. I try to socialize with people on um, the YouTube. I, you know, I leave comments and especially on the people videos that I really like. So, and I do watch a lot of YouTube videos. So, that's why I'm like, that's why I was like, Okay, I need to know what am I doing wrong or what do I need to do to do this, right? To uh, get my subscriber count up because I, you know, because I see that they have that you can advertise, uh, advertise your promote, promote your videos and everything. But I don't want to pay for, you know, pay to do that because I'm going to tell you, I paid for advertising on Facebook for my hair business already. I'm not going to keep paying for a whole lot of stuff just to uh, drive traffic to your channel or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or to your Facebook page. I'm not going to keep paying for a lot of stuff. And I need to be able to see some type of results from it. Because even when I paid for the advertisement on Facebook, it was a lot of people, you know, it went out to thousands and thousands of people. But did all these, well, I know everyone that looked at it was not going to come and sit in my chair. You know what I'm saying? Like you're taking a risk on spending your money on this advertisement as it is. And you don't know who's going to actually come or how you're going to benefit from it in the first place. So that's like taking a um, a risk on paying for advertisement. And I do see that some people do pay for it on YouTube. Yeah. 
So, y'all know, um, I know I'm doing a lot of rambling and this video was about my room and then I started talking about this other stuff that needed to be in another video itself. But, yeah, I'm going to get on off this video and I'm going to do a shout out video to some of the people that I like on the YouTube and then uh, after that. I don't know what other kind of video I'm going to make. Now, if you guys have any suggestions or videos that you would like for me to do and you haven't seen me do them, let me know, okay? Because I will try to do them, okay? Okay. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.